Good morning, my fellow yogic travelers. I'm glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too. Now we're up to Surya Bedna with Mula Bandha. That's what we're working on this week, the Bandhas. We're going to start with our mudra of the day, Shakatam. Not Shakatam. Shakatam. The third, fourth, and fifth fingers are into the palm. The thumbs tips, thumb tips touch, and the index fingers extend toward the midline. It's like a yoke means cart. And in yoga, you yoke or harness the powers of the instinctive energies, and they can't go anywhere that they want to go. They can only go according to the way the intelligence of the driver moves it to the right or the left. Shakatam, the cart. Okay, so let's get ready. Find your seat, and right away, remember, <clears throat> you have to measure what we call the anal mouth. If you're tilted to one side or the other, you'll find that, of course, that the mula box is tilted. So the anal mouth is another location to see, am I lifting up evenly from there? Am I lifting up evenly from there? And I want to make sure that the size, the sides and the length are the same. And go back to that during the practice to see if you've lost it or not. All right, so take a few restorative breaths. Drop your chin into Jalandhar Bandha. And let's get ready to do it. First cycle will be open right nostril inhale, mula bandha, open left nostril exhale. We'll do three cycles and go from there. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block left, open right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Drop the hand and restore the breathing. So Surya Bedna, you know this is going to be a sun channel, which means energy. Very, very important for overcoming the lazy or muda, muda bumi, the donkey mind. Hmm? Doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to work. Now we're going to have energy and vigor to do what we need to. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block the left, open right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. See if you can pull lower abdominal in and up with or without the rectal tissue. Ashwini mudra. Let it go, block right, open left, exhale. Relax your hand and restore the breathing. All right, third cycle in the first round. After the exhale, raise the hand, block the left, open the right. Wait there, squeeze the root lock. Release the lock, block the right, open the left, exhale. Come back to restorative breathing. Remember, if beginners are tuning into this, just do open nostril right, inhale, open nostril left, exhale, with or without the mula bandha. Remember, I've given a disclaimer at the beginning of this series almost a year ago. This is not for raw beginners. Everyone should be starting off with supine breathing if they're raw beginners, and you move up as you develop over time. All right, second cycle, second round. We're going to be narrow the right nostril on the inhale, mula bandha, open left nostril on the exhale. Let's get to it. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block the left, narrow the right, and breathe in. Wait there. Mula Bandha. Release the lock. Block the right. Open the left. Exhale. Relax and restore the breathing. Second cycle, second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block the left, narrow the right, breathe in. Wait there, squeeze the root lock. Come 
release the lock, lock the right, open the left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore your breathing. Make sure that with your eyes closed, your eyes are going to the region where you don't see the breath working, don't feel the breath working. Overdoing, overfunctioning, if you continue to stay with where you see the breath opening. The idea is to search out the nooks and crannies where the breath is not going and gently move the breath, guide the breath there. Third cycle, second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, lock the left, narrow the right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the weight back. Release the lock, block right, open left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Now, yoga is a self-culture. You're studying yourself. You're leading forth the best that you have from within you. So to a certain extent, you could say that your own personal experience of yoga is an education about your strengths and your weaknesses and how each one contributes to your development in a different way. Obviously the strengths are your, your wheelhouse and the weaknesses are the places that you need to go to continue to improve uh, the qualities that the weaknesses represent that are deficient in. All right, we're going to, to the third round and that's going to be open right nostril inhale, mula bandha, and then partially closed left nostril exhale. Let's get to it. We establish the lift from the mula box. Exhale the breath, raise the hand. Block left, open right, breathe in. Wait there. Pull the root lock. Release the lock, block the right, narrow the left, exhale. the hand and restore the breathing. Now as we go into the next cycle, remember that the digital control of the fingertips, you have to make sure it's just the fleshy pads furthest away from the nails that are touching the nostril skin. Exhale the breath, raise the hand. Lock the left, open the right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the mula bandha. Release the lock, block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Third cycle, third round, exhale the breath, raise the hand. Lock left, open the right, breathe in. Wait there, pull mula bandha, root lock. Let go of the lock, block the right, narrow the left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Now, working with your posture, learning how to do a better sitting position, working with your breath, it's something that's kind of very common, very ordinary. What do you do with your body? What do you do with your breath? But what it does is it trains you to connect you with everyday things. Notice your posture. Notice how you're breathing. And that connects you with basically reality. And that provides you with an understanding of your relationship between yourself and ordinary life, which is nothing but life. So enjoy what you're doing. All right, now we're doing up to the fourth cycle, and that's going to be partially closed right nostril, inhale, mula bandha, partially closed left nostril, exhale. Let's get to it. Exhale the breath. 
raise the hand. Block left, narrow right, breathe in. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore to breathing. Second cycle, increasingly refine your understanding and your practice. After the store of breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, breathe in. Wait there, squeeze the mula bandha. Release the lock, block right, narrow left, exhale. your hand and restore to breathing. All right, ready to come up with the last round? Maintain the awareness of the vertical, horizontal, and spiraling or circumferential action of the breath as it fills from bottom to top. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block left. Narrow right. Breathe in. Wait there. Add the root lock. Release the lock, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. All right, that's it for today. Let may well-being be the order of your day as you let go of the small and insignificant. We'll see you tomorrow.